Hey everybody, my name is Kim Seaver. I'm the Editor-in-Chief for Lethbridge News and you're watching another episode of Editor's Corner where we take a look back over this past year's, this past week's um, popular stories on lethnews.com, our Facebook page and our Twitter feed. First of all, I'd like to apologize for just doing this video on my iPhone, but I, I thought about it at uh, quarter after 10 tonight and realized, oh, I haven't done a video yet. So anyhow, I just wanted to do this quickly and uh, get it uploaded. By far, of course, I don't even think I need to mention this, but by far our most popular um, news story this week, and we actually didn't even write the news story, but um, was, of course, the Prairie Fire. So last November, there was a Prairie Fire that started on the Blood Reserve and nearly reached um, the, the uh, residential portion of, of Lethbridge. And then just this past week, on Monday, we had another... Um, prairie fire that started on the blood reserve. Last year it was because of a um, some hot stones that had um, some sparks got away from the hot stones and at a sweat lodge on the on the blood reserve. This time around it was actually um, the heavy winds that we had on Monday blew over a power line that started the fire and it spread and it was pretty intense and uh, but and actually the fire had approached Lethbridge very close. It got to the um, where Westside Drive connects with the with the Crow's Nest Trail, and uh, so it got pretty close to getting to Lethbridge. But it ended up the firefighters managed to stop it about halfway between Coldell and the Lethbridge city limits. Um, nevertheless, there was tons of smoke in the city, and. Uh, um, several of the West Side neighborhoods were on evacuation alert, and even the West Side Trailer Park and the Bridgeview Campground both were evacuated. Um, uh, the university canceled classes and a few other things as well. So it, it, it seems like this one got closer and posed more of a danger to Lethbridge than the last year's. But anyhow, it was by far our most popular story of any others. We received 700 more, over 700 more subscribers on Facebook. We had over 1,000 more followers on Twitter. We are now at almost 4,000 fans on Facebook. I believe we're just barely under 3,800. And we are, we were the first Lethbridge media outlet to hit to pass the 3,000 mark, and now there's a second one that's over, just barely over 3,000. But it looks like we're um, on track for being the first one to hit 4,000 uh, followers as well. We received lots of um, positive comments about our coverage. Um, we apologize that we didn't put together a news um, article on laughnews.com, but it seemed we were still able to get lots of traffic um, to our website, even though we didn't have a, 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 a news story on there. So anyhow, that's pretty much our look at this past week. We appreciate all of the new followers we've received. Don't forget to uh, um, check us out on Facebook, uh, facebook.com slash lethnews. Check us out on Twitter, twitter.com slash lethnews. Check us out at lethnews.com. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll talk to you next week. Thanks. Bye.